Right, so here we're at. Sunroof, that sunroof cover is back in. That's looking really good. The gutters, this end, these are all back in because you've got to remove these to get the sunroof cover off. Um, so they're all now back in. I've used butt rub to seal everything off. Um, I've butt rubbed the aerial antenna. So I've got the bucket here um, to see if it is still leaking, but hopefully that butt rub, because I put plenty on there, hopefully that will stop that from leaking. And I just found another leak down here in this bottom corner, and it's not the sunroof, because that's where the sunroof drain is. It's literally just there, but it was leaking from above it. It was the light. And on further inspection, I took the light out, cleaned it all up. The light wasn't even seated properly, but this little screw bit here, which screws into there, just pulls out. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this. Right, so I saw this the other day. Um, I can't remember whether it was TikTok or YouTube, um, something like that. Basically, he got a load of um, ash, cigarette ash. I guess any kind of ash would do, wouldn't it? But he just got some ash, poured it in the hole, and then uh, a couple of drops of super glue. So let's see how it goes. Right, well that was a fail. As soon as I went to drill through it, um, all inside was still soft. Uh, the glue never actually made it all the way down. So I poked a hole all the way down the middle. I'm gonna drop some super glue in, and hopefully that'll make that hole nice and hard, and all the ash that's already in there hard, and then I can put some more ash on the top and a bit more super glue. Let's try it again. Well, I didn't finish off um, filming that little bit down in the section. Um, the time it dried and that, obviously it was raining. I just wanted to get it done because obviously it's letting water in. So um, it seems to have worked. A bit of super glue in there. It's back in now anyway. And perfect timing with the rain because I can check that in a minute, see if water's still coming in and I'll be able to check the area. Then when it dries up, I'll get all the um, headlining back in. I've still got a few plastics to spray and a few bits to re-trim. So actually, what we'll do is, because it's raining, we'll go inside and we'll trim the other three pillars that I need to do, A, B and C, on the passenger side. Right, so I've just jumped in the car to have an inspection of all these gutters, making sure that none of it's leaking because obviously the rain and all of that. You can see up there, I've cable tied it, put a bit of that butt rub in there as well. Done the same both sides. Yeah, there's no water coming in. I mean, it looks shiny. In. Oh, I'll drop my phone now. Well, I've got to take this trim off because I've got to try and work out a way of how I'm going to spray that. That's going to be fun. Doing that black. But there is still moisture in here and condensation on the roof. You can see just... Oh, it's not going to show up, is it? Oh, it's not showing up on camera. Oh, it does there. So there is still condensation on the roof. And I think that's because down in that far corner, there's still quite a lot of water that I can't actually get to. And in that bottom corner as well. And that's below where the um, these drains come out. Uh, they were actually blocked and they were leaking and they filled up some little holes, uh, some little cubby holes down there that you can't get to. But there is two grommets um, and you can see just there, there is one of the grommets. I removed both grommets from both sides. This side was very bizarre because it was all purple. So I need to inspect as well actually before the head dining goes in um, the 
washer fluid, possibly. I don't know, but it was in that corner. So I need to investigate that before everything else goes back in. Oh, I also, the aerial, putting all that butt rub up around it, is completely bone dry. There's no water in that bucket at all. Everything's, I've stopped all the leaks. So now it's just a case of drying the vehicle out, which is obviously just those corners and condensation on the roof. Right, let's go trim these last pillars. starting to get darker already I mean it looks alright on camera at the moment um, but it is getting really dark so because I don't want the quality to drop um, I've still got this one here this C pillar to trim uh, which is a little bit trickier and because it is a bit trickier I actually um, I want to move the camera stand out of the way so I can actually just get around the whole thing and just have a bit more of a larger working area because that is a bit trickier um, and I'll do that in a minute off camera because I, I can't be asked to keep on filming everything because it's, um, I, you got to pause it. But it's about every time, you know, you, you do a spray. So I've still got to cut this bit out, um, but I'm not cutting that bit out yet because I've got to, where are the bits that go in there? I've got to spray these bits up. So I'll spray them up and then cut it on. But that, spraying all of them bits up, I've got the mask and tape ready. Um, I'll get all that prepped and we'll do that tomorrow and we'll spray that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, basically what took so long was because, um, you know, you get, you, you spray it up with your adhesive and then you've got to wait for it to dry uh, because if it goes on wet, it does actually um, ruin the actual material and it seeps through. Uh, it, it, sometimes you're lucky, it doesn't seep through too bad, but other times it can actually ruin the suede. So that's why I was just taking my time. Um, and I don't know if you noticed, but underneath, this has still actually got like the material on it. Um, I really did try to remove all the material, but this material, I don't know what is on that, those plastics, but it ain't coming off, not for love nor money. So I've just put the suede straight over it and it looks, well, you can't see, it's not, bubbled or uneven or yeah it looks all right oh nearly fell over then no room well i'll prep all of this up um yeah i'll prep all of that for painting i'll get that done and i'll see you tomorrow probably in the garage with a bit of painting Ooh. Oh, it's sunny out there this morning. Lovely, no more rain. Inside of the Gulf, totally dry. Um, I've already gone ahead and I've just started painting a few bits up. So I've got like the seatbelt bits. Um, just having a go with the <laughs> sunroof bit. It's actually, it's not coming up too bad. I didn't, I forgot I didn't even prep. I haven't prepped here. And it shows. 
but I've also done um, that centre visor bit that goes in between the two sun visors. That's come up really well as well. The issue I'm having though, because I'm prepping everything, I don't know how I'm going to do the handles and actually make it so that the handles look okay. And I'll show you reason being, these handles are an absolute nightmare. So this bit on this end, I can push it out, open it up and I can spray it in all of there. Not a problem. The other end has the spring on it. And yeah, I would, normally I would take things apart and go, right, let's just do it individually. But I'm not 100% sure how this handle works. I don't want to just take it apart and then bits disappear and never get it back together again. So I don't know really how I'm going to paint that. That's a little bit of a struggle at the moment. Everything else is okay. I mean, the seatbelt bits, um, that's all that you'll see on the seatbelt cover. So that will get sprayed up. Um, the lights, what I've done for those lights, put some like sticky, those little round sticky label things. Actually, I found a load of these from when I went away ages ago. Um, and I was using them to put on the map. Um, so I've got, a, I've got a massive map in the van. And I usually put those little dots on maps on places that I liked staying at and that were free. Anyway, I've also got these little surrounds that go around the seat belts. Um, and it's only the outer edge, just this bit around here that's actually seen. So not a lot of that. So only, I'm not gonna bother prepping all of that up. I'm just gonna lay it down and just spray, spray it there. Cause not a lot of that gets seen. Um, obviously these bits here for the sun visors, I uh, don't need to prep that or anything. Um, that'll just get painted. These little clips, I didn't really have to go through that much effort and taping it up, but there's a little chrome um, like spring bit there that the sun visor locks into. And I just wanted to cover that up. Um, but the rest that's gray, that will um, that bit there, that'll get painted black as well. Ah, uh, under the front sun visors, you've got these little lights. So that's all been prepped up. Only two little strips that need to be painted on either side, but they're all ready to go. The only thing I haven't prepped yet and isn't ready is the sun visors, but the sun visors, I'm not really gonna prep them too much. I'm not gonna tape anything up. I am literally just gonna send it full can. Well, not a full can. So far, this is only a 300 mil, I think it is, yeah. 300 mil can, and I've, it doesn't feel like I've used any of it yet, although it's always deceiving, because the next thing you do, you go to use it and it'll all be gone. Haha, <laughs> right, I'm gonna crack on. Woo! <laughs> Buzzing, mate. It's gonna look sick, proper sick. Right, well, I've got quite a few bits sprayed up. Um, I haven't worried about running that light bit. I thought it'd be better if it's gray inside there. It might reflect light a little bit better. All the seat belt caps are done. The lights are done. Um, all these gray bits you're not actually gonna see because they're hidden away. Obviously the terminals, um, those gray bits you're not gonna see. The mirrors, um, I've put a little bit of tape in behind there, a bit of masking tape, so I can spray it like this. And then once it's dried, I can close it and then spray it again. And that way, when you open it, these little bits here are also gonna be black. Right, and then for the handles, this is what we've done for the handles. So, I think it's quite a good idea. We've got some handles on a piece of wood, and then all I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of string on here, a little weight, a little fishing weight or something, and that will hold it down, and then I can put a nice little thin coat of black paint all in around there. And then once that's dried, we can let it close, and I can go around and paint it like that. But obviously, I'm gonna be putting this in a vise, so it'll be up like that. Excellent. But I can't get out there right now because I've just been out there and tried to spray a little bit and it's still where it's quite early. Um, yeah, it's still not even 10 o'clock. The sun's barely warming anything up. I needed to warm up outside first because I tried to test a little bit outside and it's gone a little bit gray. Oh, but let me show you this. Because, right, 
I am well chuffed with this. This is amazing. All right, so I sprayed a few bits up and then I don't know how well it's going to show up in camera, but look at that. That's all been sprayed up. That was grey. That whole thing was grey. That has come out absolutely amazing. <sighs> Buzzing. I've got all the um, the C pillars. They came out really well. Really impressed with how they came out. The A pillars are looking good. I've got the bit that goes around for the sunroof control. Oh, and then the bit that goes along the boot. Mate, I am buzzing. I cannot wait to get this in. And also... Hello, mate. <laughs> I've got all the little metal clips in. So they're all absolutely spot on. Everything's ready to go. The only thing I haven't done, I've got some little holes here to go in, um, which will be for where the sun bars are clips in. I'll put the slit in up there. And then, oh, I've got to do a little hole down here for where that little visor thing goes, that little flap. And then we're ready to fit it. Which I would say would be today. Um, it all depends on how well it goes painting these handles. The handles and the mirror, the sun visors, uh, these are the most important bits because, uh, actually no, well, what, no, these bits could actually hold the, the roof up. I'm just thinking I need to get all these bits painted so that when I install the headlining, these, these bits of trim, the handles, grab handles, all that kind of stuff, will then hold the headlining up. But maybe I don't need the sun visors. And then... It's just these little clips to go around the, around the seat belts. But I don't really need to do them either, actually, to put the headlining back in. No, no, I'm not going to rush ahead. I know a lot of YouTubers do that. They rush ahead and they skip bits out like that just to get the video done and just to get it all in. I can't do that. I, I can't skip jobs and skip ahead and then come back to it and finish it off. It's, I've got to get it all done in one shot. So, hopefully... Fingers crossed, we'll have all this painted up today. And then, because it is still quite early, I don't know, because the sun starts going down about three, four hours to paint all that up, 15 minutes waiting, drying time between coats. Um, and I've only got one vice, so I can only do paint one thing at a time, which is an absolute nightmare. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Lovely and sunny. I'm just waiting for the sun to warm up in here and it is warming up in here slowly. So I've got the one voice <laughs> and these are those little seatbelt bracket bits, but I can only spray so much at a time. But you can see these, it must be where it's damp or something, but the color of them, they're like gray, not black. So that's why I'm gonna wait for it to warm up a bit out here. And it's not like I put it on really thick, the coat. I actually applied it, like all the other stuff, the other layers that I've done, thin coats, and that actually worked really well. But on that one out there, it hasn't worked, and I reckon that's because it's a little bit cold. And maybe damp. Right, once we've got all this sorted, I'll catch back up with you again. <laughs> Nice and um, well, I say it's nice and bright. It's not really. The sun is literally just going down. Where is it? Oh well, you can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> so the sun's going down, um, which means it's dark. Let's put that light on. So I've, I've got pretty much everything 
all painted up. It's all sort of, I say it's all sort of done. Um, I've just got this one visor left to do. The other one has been done. I've just got it up here drying. Well, it is dry, but I'm just, it does say leave it 24 hours to let them cure. So rather than have real pixelated, horrible footage from me trying to spray this last bit up outside, um, what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead, get it sprayed up now. And then that way we can come back in the morning. Yeah, then we can come back in the morning. Everything will be cured enough for me to fit the headliner. Yeah, so then I can put the headline in tomorrow. Because um, everything's done. Apart from that one last bit to be sprayed up. So far, this this paint, I've used nearly three cans. There's probably maybe about a third of a can left. Hopefully, that's enough to paint up that. Um, if it's not, then another trip to Halfords for a fourth can, which would be another nine quid because... I'm not even going to need much. But yeah, those handles, everything has come out looking really good. I'm I'm, I'm buzzing about that. Absolutely chuffed. It's, it comes out, they look proper good. Um, even the seatbelt covers, everything has come out really well. I mean, I am surprised how well it's all come out. You know, when you get, when you're painting plastics in the past, um, a lot of times just putting a paint over the top it's usually a fail. You usually have to use a proper primer and then paint it. But this is just, it seems to have worked. I guess, you know, time will tell. So we have to, you know, just see how we get on over time. And then, um, yeah, hopefully it lasts. Because I don't really want to be going through doing all this again. Right. I'll see you again when, because I'm not going to film outside. I'll see you again when the headlining's going in. Right, and that'll be for next time. <laughs> Come back tomorrow, maybe not tomorrow for you, but tomorrow for me, I've got to edit all this up. I've got quite a bit of footage to go through. So, although I'm gonna get on with it tomorrow, you'll probably see that in a couple of days. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and God bless.